If you've considered investing in the United States of America from abroad, you're going to want to tune in to today's show. Shay, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. Uh, for those new viewers to Holton Wise TV, this is the most interactive show we have on Holton Wise TV. This is the show uh, where you send in your wants, your needs, your goals, your situation, and myself and my team, we will help you start, grow, and build your real estate portfolio. And uh, today I'm working with a dude named Shay. Shay, you are actually from the Cleveland area, but you are no longer currently uh, living in Cleveland. As a matter of fact, you are all the way out there in Kuwait. I can't think of any place further uh, from Cleveland than Kuwait, right? You are a government-contracted uh, military IT contractor, okay? So... Uh, you're obviously doing some incredibly important work over there, right? So hats off to you, brother. Uh, what you want to do in regards to real estate, though, in your financial situation is you are looking to do some burrs, right? Some burr deals. For those of you that are, you know, never heard this term before, it's a very important term in the real estate investment space, right? It's an acronym. It's a B and four R's. The first one, B, it stands for buy. R, renovate, rent. Refinance and repeat. What that means is you take a certain amount of money, okay, you buy a property. The goal is to then go ahead and force appreciation, renovate that property. You want the property to eventually be worth more money when you refinance it through a bank than your acquisition cost and your renovation cost combined. You do that, you end up getting a much higher majority of your money back out on the back end. You get a higher cash on cash return. And more importantly, you could stretch the same funds over and over again, right? So that works out perfectly for a guy like Shay. And as a matter of fact, Shay, it's actually kind of crazy uh, how like unique and well this actually worked out, right? This is the property that I wanted to do for you. Okay, 3040 West 47th. Now, um, when you guys work with me, you know, one of the main things you let me know, right? You let me know what you want to do, but of course you got to let me know how much money you're working with, right? I mean, obviously, right? Hard to buy real estate without money. And, uh, you know, most people, they give me very, uh, you know, general numbers like, yo, I got 50 K, I got a hundred K, I got 150 K, stuff like that. Right. Shay, you gave me like an exact figure, right? $78,000. Now I'm not like one of those, uh, dudes that believe in like karma or things that were meant to be but it's just it's random to me that you gave me seventy eight thousand dollars because the situation with this particular property i recently analyzed this for another client okay I ran the numbers on this property for him. He decided not to make a move on this property. He wants to try to do a single family. He feels more comfortable with a single family property, okay? So this property still available for sale and I think it's gonna be perfect. And the, and the funny thing is, the amount of cash that I targeted for him to take this investment down is exactly $78,000, which is the exact amount you sent to me. So, you know, when I saw that 78 and this property came available again, I thought of you and I was like, dude, this is, this is my guy Shay right here. I got to send this to him. So what I want you to do is I want you to watch this footage now. 3040 West 47th, Cleveland, 44. 102 listed 16 days ago for $49,900. This is a beat up, ugly little duplex, right? It's in the Metro Health neighborhood, right? The Clark Fulton neighborhood. I know you like that area, Dave. Reason being, they're going to be investing a billion, be like boy, billion dollars into that area, right? You take a low income area like this, right? Currently, D class neighborhood, right? Take a low-income D-class neighborhood like that, put a billion bucks into it, 
I'd be surprised if good things don't happen, especially in, when it's in close proximity to other nice neighborhoods you hear about in Cleveland, Ohio City, Detroit, Shoreway, uh, Tremont, right? All that stuff. Edgewater, right? That's all bordering it. So I think a lot of stuff is happening over here, and I think this is going to be a solid neighborhood. But currently, dude, it's just an ugly little duckling, right? What we have, by the way, one of these units is empty. The other unit, they are currently paying 500 but those rents are very low. Uh, what we're going to want to do... We're going to want to increase the rents by increasing the property, increasing the value, and I'm going to break it all down based upon that. But you don't have to do it all at once, right? You could buy the property, start renovating the vacant unit, and, you know, kind of like slow motion bird a little bit, right? Delay, like collect the money from this existing tenant until uh, the appropriate time, right? No reason to kick them out, right? It takes time to renovate units. Obviously, it's pretty rough, though, right? There's nothing, uh, you know, good. A little old furnace here. There's nothing great about it. Electric panel is updated, though. That's like one little nice thing but i'm sure there might be you know could be some issues here i don't know like it, it looks worse than it is like people see this and they think oh my god it's a huge mess what this really just looks ugly because the the panels are pulled off like this is nice and updated so uh, i can't really tell you from here if that's bad or good but we'll go over the budget here shortly that might fall under uh the aw fuck fund the off fuck fund is uh, something that, like, I'm going to give you what we're going to do, and then the off fuck fund is going to kind of be a catch-all for, like, unknown stuff, because there's always going to be unknown stuff in renovations, right? Last thing here, you see the two gas meters, okay? So, that is the property. What I would like you to do... Okay, Dave, I'd like you to pick this property up for forty grand. The agent... Uh, Works at Realty Express. He's actually also the owner. He's got it listed at forty nine nine. It's you know, it's a somewhat okay price, but for the numbers to pencil out here, I need you to be able to pick it up cheaper than that. So I think we gotta try to get this for you at forty grand. Then we're gonna spend. I have penciled in thirty eight thousand dollars, which takes us to a total investment of seventy eight thousand dollars. That thirty eight thousand dollars, the way it breaks down. Uh, guaranteed cosmetic work, okay? Because that, you know, look nasty, right? What we need to do here is fully renovate both units, not at the same time, though, right? We had that other tenant paying us $500. let us leave him be. Keep collecting the 500 If you want to, eventually we could increase his rent like $50, $100 or something like that. But what we're going to need to do before going for that refinance is get that unit renovated and that tenant up paying market rent, right? So, as far as that goes, the breakdown I'm giving you, it might not all happen at once, but what we have to do. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. We have to spend approximately $15,000 in each of these units. What that's going to entail, that's going to entail new kitchen fixtures, new bath fixtures, fresh floors throughout, likely a matching vinyl plank flooring in the kitchen in the bath, and there is likely good original hardwood floors in this home. I say good because, like, they're... You know, they're nice hardwoods, but right now, currently, as they stand, they're, they're beats all hill. They're over 100 years old, so we're going to have to refinish those. We're going to put very thick poly coats on it because that is going to allow you to continue operating the property with your turnovers being cheaper, right? Some folks like carpet. It's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper up front, but you do carpet. You got to replace the carpet every couple tenants, man. We don't want to do that, right? Let's do the job once. Let's do it right, and then, you know, a kid pees on the floor, dog pees on the floor, you drop a beer, you drop pop, wine, whatever, doesn't sink into the wood. We got the nice poly coat, comes right off, beads right up. Don't have to keep doing the floor between tenants. Save you some money, right? So that's going to happen. We're going to patch all the holes in the walls, repaint all the walls, agreeable gray, go with a nice uh, white trim throughout. Just make the unit look fresh and clean. Get it to a uh, qualify for Section 8 vouchers because in this neighborhood, yeah, I, I said we got a billion coming into it. It's going to be nicer down the road. Right now, it's still high risk, so we need to alleviate those risks of the current neighborhood by getting that rental income to be guaranteed 
by the government, so we want to go Section 8, right? So for approximately $15,000 per unit, that's $30,000, we should be able to accomplish most all of that. Then, as mentioned before, I have another $8,000 in this budget for the Aw Fuck Fund, okay? The Aw Fuck Fund is incredibly important, and if you're a real estate investor out there, you need to have one of these on every renovation, okay? Other things. We got a roof, right? No reason to believe the roof is brand new. No reason to believe we have to uh, do it right now. But uh, so, no, sorry, what I'm trying to say is no reason to believe that it's brand new on one hand, but also no reason to believe it's like totally shot on the other hand. So, you know, in the next few years or in the next, you know, short term period, we're probably either going to need to do a roof, which is going to be five or six K. You know, we saw some furnaces in there. Theoretically, they both work, but they're older. Furnaces last about 30 years. So some furnace work's going to have to happen. They cost about three Gs each, right? So that's 6000 for two furnaces. Maybe let's call it 6000 for a roof. That takes us to twelve. Hot water tanks is about 2000 That's about $14,000 if you had to do all those items. I do not have reason to believe that you need to do all those all, what, two furnaces, two hot water tanks, and one roof. I don't think you need to do all of them right now, so we're not going to call it 14 k But I don't think you need to do none of them. I guarantee you, by the time we renovate the other stuff, you know, maybe we rode that tenant out for a year or two and then did it. By the time we get that unit renovated, the other unit renovated, and we get ready to do this refinance, you're going to have to do some of that stuff. So I'm penciling in approximately 8K, knowing that none of that stuff is brand new. We're putting that into the budget, right? And what's that going to get us? It's going to get us two tenants paying $750 apiece, right? So that's $1,500 a month. $18K a year comes in. Of the eighteen k a year, an average of seven thousand five hundred thirty six is going to go out the door. That's ten thousand four hundred sixty four dollars, right? Is our estimated long term net return. One thing I do want to bring to your attention, though, right, is the taxes. Okay, that's going to change. This is the current taxes, right? Two hundred seventy eight dollars a year, or twenty three dollars a month. That is going to go up. Okay, if you check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. In there, not only do I grade the neighborhoods on an A to F scale based upon risk, I also include the property tax rate, right? 2.79% is Cleveland's property tax rate. So if you have a $100,000 property, your property is valued at hundred grand. your property taxes for the year would be, uh, what, 2790 right? Okay, the reason this particular property is so cheap is the seller, the agent, you know, savvy investor. He bought this thing, you know, looked like a foreclosure back during the, like, the height, the basement, rather, the basement of the recession, 2011. He bought this sucker for 6900 So according to the county, it's worth a lot less. So you're going to pick it up uh, under my numbers here, right? I think you'll pick it up for 40 so that is probably what the county is going to use to value it, right? So your taxes will go up a little bit. But using these numbers, we got 10464 on average coming in. So you're all into this deal at 78 Gs with that money coming in. It's a 13.4 cap. And as far as a bank is concerned, I think they will appraise it for you at approximately 85000 is the target. That's what I'm hoping we get it to appraise it. If that occurs, that bank will loan you back sixty-seven thousand or sixty-three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, right? So you put seventy-eight into the deal. Bank gives you back sixty-three thousand seven fifty. You're ending up, brother, with only fourteen thousand two hundred fifty dollars. You do the numbers. That's going to pencil out to over fifty percent return on your money, right? So that is a successful burr. As far as you're concerned, I know you have one hundred thousand dollars in cash to build this real estate portfolio. So you're going to be able to start with a hundred thousand dollars. By the time the dust settles on this deal. You will end up with approximately $86,000 left, and you will have a property generating a passive income of approximately $7,000 a year for you. Not bad, right? Freaking $7,000. That's a two-year payback on your money. All right, Shay, welcome back. So that's the numbers on this particular property, right? 78 k right? I just thought it was crazy. You want 78 the numbers I ran, exactly 78, okay? That's, uh, you know, that was unique. But one other thing I want to talk about before we decide if this actually does make sense for you, right? Because, you know, just the fact that it's a coincidence, it's the same damn number. That's not everything, right? You specifically told me 
in your email that you wanted to do um, B or C properties, okay? Now, you're from Cleveland, so uh, you are obviously familiar with the nuances of all our neighborhoods, and, and you're very familiar. Now, a lot of folks I talk to uh, about uh, this particular neighborhood, I tell them, you know, I tell them the things I like about it, and what I really like about it is how close we are to Metro, okay? We got Metro. And the, uh, the billion dollars coming in. Then in addition to that, Shay, something that you're obviously going to be very familiar with, you know how nice Tremont is. You know how nice Ohio City is. You know how nice uh, Detroit Shoreway is coming, right? So we got that billion dollars of investment coming in over in this area. Now, truth be told, we're like, what, like 23, 24 streets, something like that, away from Metro Health. But, you know, you're sick. This, that's the hospital you're going to. So we got that billion dollars coming in to that general area so i see this going up a little bit and we're in such close proximity to these places that became really nice tremont ohio city detroit shoreway that i am very confident in this particular neighborhood i like this area now i have graded it a d though right you you know based on my guide you're like yo dude c or b but i am incredibly high on this particular d class neighborhood so let me know if this makes sense and you feel comfortable with all this. Let me know. We will put in the offer on your behalf. If not, give me your feedback. Let me know like, hey, man, that's great, but I really want to stick to what you've said uh, in regards to B or C. Now, truth be told, with the 78K, it's probably going to be tough uh, to find a bird deal in B-class neighborhoods. Uh, first of all, we're going to find less bird deals uh, being available, right, because it, of course, requires a distressed seller, right? And there's just fewer distressed properties the nicer the neighborhoods are. Number one. Number two, the, the price points go up, of course. So 78K, it's, it's going to be tough, brother. It's going to be really tough to pull off a burr in a B-class neighborhood. We could probably do it in a C-class neighborhood. I would, I would say, you know, the neighborhood I'm thinking of would probably be Old Brooklyn. Uh, I think Old Brooklyn, we could definitely pull it off. But Old Brooklyn is just south of this particular neighborhood. And like I said, I really like where things are going with this neighborhood. So... That's why I went slightly off the beaten path here for you, and uh, let me know your feedback. But again, if you do not want to make a move on this property, if it is out of your comfort zone, I totally respect and understand that. I just wanted to present it to you because it, everything just seemed to be lining up for us here. Uh, if not, though, next video, bro, absolutely going to go to a C-class neighborhood, and we will go from there. Uh, everybody else, just so you know, if you're watching this show, this property is no longer available. I sent this to Shea privately a couple months ago. If you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one in the way that he is, go to HoltonWeiss.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, click the MLS Search and Analysis Show, order yourself a set of packages, and we will get started. After the dust settles and the houses are no longer available, guys, that's when you get to see it. That's when I release it live on Holton Wise TV. So you guys could all learn because our number one goal is to create transparency and create a following of highly educated real estate investors. So if this is the first time you've ever tuned in, do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. 
For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.